Hey, I am going to show you how to control the TD3 from the Novation circuit via MIDI. So you can see I have a MIDI connection from the TD3 into the Novation circuit. First thing we got to do is see what the clock uh, setting is on the TD3. So I hold down function in those two keys there. And right now I just set it to the internal clock. That's not what you want. Uh, that's going to drive the clock internally. What you want it set to is MIDI which I've just done there. And the 24 PPQ setting for the clock seems to work well with the Novation circuit. Now, if I hit function and channel there, I can change the MIDI channel uh, the TD3 is listening on. I'm gonna keep it on one. Okay, so let's power on our circuit in MIDI configuration mode. I hold down shift and power at the same time. You can see here I have synth one connected to channel one, synth two to two and the drums are connected to channel 3. Now if you want to change these for some reason you can pick these blocks to go from channel 1 to 16. Uh, we're just going to keep it on 1 for synth 1. The ones on the bottom are interesting. These are MIDI control settings. These ones I'm, I'm playing with right now are for MIDI notes receive and transfer. The orange ones here are MIDI CC receive and transfer. Purple are MIDI program receive and transfer. And the other blue ones are MIDI clock receive and transfer. Cool. So we are ready to go here. Here I'm able to play the TD3 now with the Novation circuit. One thing of interest is, you know, I can turn in the mixer it off, but I can still hear it. What you'll want to do for the most cases is if you don't want to hear the Novation circuit play over top of the TD3 is go into the mixer there and just turn down uh, the level of the uh, synth one for the Novation circuit. One thing I want to show you, and this caught me off guard when I was uh, trying this firsthand, is you can see right now I have the TD3 in normal mode. And what that does is if I hit record here and push play, if I program in things on the circuit, you can hear it's just playing the, uh, the sequencer off of the TD3. No matter what input I put in here when that program is engaged on the TD3, it's not going to do anything. And you can see the, the start and stop on the circuit is going to enable that program. So there's a couple ways to get around this. You know, I can manually turn it off like that on the TD3, which isn't the greatest. And you know, I can play around a bit now. You can see it's being driven from the circuit now. But what you want to probably do is if you want to drive specifically from the circuit, is enable pitch mode there. And it's not going to start the sequencer on the TD3 when you hit the, the play button on the circuit. And you can goof around like that. That drove me nuts. It caught me off guard because when I initially started filming this, I got caught on that for a while. Let's go back into the mixer quickly here. So one thing I want to show you is you can layer synth one on the circuit over top of uh, the TD3. But notice if I'm driving it through the sequencer and I turn it off in the mixer, it kills the MIDI notes out to the TD3. So if you just want to control the TD3 and you don't want anything over top of it, make sure you turn down the volume in the mixer. So that's about all I got to show you tonight. A uh, quick little video there on how to hook up your Novation circuit into your TD3 to control it with its sequencer or to either trigger it and control the clock. And yeah, that's that's about it. So I hope that was useful. If you're having trouble hooking these two guys up, uh, let me know if you have any other questions in the comments and I'll be happy to pick up on them. But I, hopefully that gets you up and running with these two guys if you're looking to make some music with them. Uh, enjoy your time. <laughs> that's the worst outro ever.